Kia ora whanau, te roro here, Honourable Member of the Māori Party, Yi Yo, and I'm here to just give you a quick explanation about how Parliament works. The theory being, of course, that if you want a vote, uh, you want to place your vote, you want to put it someplace where it's got some value. So hopefully this overview will give you a hand on that. So let's just have a quick look at the whole scenario. In Parliament there's 120 members, eh? And in order to be the government of the day, you've got to get to 61 either by yourself or with some partners. Of the 120, there's 70 electorates. Uh, an electorate is like a, um, a base that you, uh, well, like an area that you're going to vote in, Rotorua, Tongariro, wherever it might be. 70 electorates, and of those 70, there are seven Māori seats. In other words, there's 63 a general and seven Māori. How do we get to seven? Well, it's on, based on the number of Māori who register on the Māori roll. And at this point in time, 56% of them are, of our people on Māori roll, 44% on the general roll, and that gives us uh, seven Māori seats. But if every Māori voted on the Māori roll, we'd have 12, between 12 and 14 seats. So that's one way to Parliament. When you're seat, you're in. The other way to get into Parliament is on the list, and there are 50 list seats. And for the purposes of the exercise, what I've done is said that likely to be that National will have about half of them and Labour will have about half. Of course it will depend on the vote. And then the Greens are likely to have 10, so there's the balance, eh? Of about 50, that's just, just as an overview. So, you can get in by being winning a seat or by winning, uh, getting on the list. Now, the problem of course, uh, just for the purposes of clarity, uh, the list is, is determined by the number of people throughout the whole country who vote for your party. And 1% of the country voting for you equals about 1 MP. About. So the Greens at the last election, they won 7%. They got 7 MPs. About. New Zealand, and, and, and of course from that then, there's other scenarios that come from that. But the key that you need to know is that you must get to 5% in order to count. If you don't get to 5% from the list, then it ain't going to work. So let's just follow it through. Greens are good. New Zealand first. Winston, he tried to get into the totem seat, but he missed out. But he got 3.9% of, uh, of the party vote uh, throughout the country, and it didn't hit the 5%. Therefore, at the last election, New Zealand First is gone. No members of Parliament. On the other side, ACT, they had Rodney. Rodney Hyde won Epsom as one, and they got 3.7% of the vote, rounded up to about four. That gave them five MPs. There's the difference. The key is in winning your seat plus the other members that you drag in. The Māori Party at the last election, we won five seats, but we only got 3%, 3.1% or thereabouts of the party vote, and therefore there's a discrepancy. We got more votes uh, by electorate than we did by the list. That means we're down by two, and just as an aside, that two becomes 122, and that is called an overhang that you might hear about uh, when the discussions go. So that's the overview about how Parliament is on all about. We'll come back shortly with a little bit more of what really happens after this.